Michael Ballack is the unluckiest footballer of all time. Michael Ballack was a world-class midfielder who won four Bundesligas, a Premier League title and eight domestic cups. And no, that doesn't include the Community Shield. But if you take a look back at his career, it's hard not to imagine what could have been. Let me take you back to the year 2000. Bayer Leverkusen sit top of the Bundesliga table and need only a point against SPVGG Unterhaching to secure a first ever German League title ahead of Bayern Munich. Disaster struck as Balak scored a freak own goal to hand Unterhach in a 2-0 win. As expected, the record champions did not slip up, disposing of Werder Bremen 3-1 at home. They pipped Leverkusen to a title on goal difference as Leverkusen finished on 73 points, which at the time was a record for a second place team in the Bundesliga. Two years later, Neverkusen, as they were come to be known, were enjoying their best ever season. Again, they set top of the Bundesliga, five points clear of Borussia Dortmund, but this time they're also in the final of the DFB Pokal and the Champions League. Coach Klaus Topmoller needed no reminder of the event of two years previous. He even stated, there will be no second Unterhaching. Maybe he meant the club Unterhaching in particular, because again, Leverkusen bottled it and surrendered their lead at the top of the table. This time, it was a defeat to Nuremberg in their penultimate game of the season, that let BVB steal the title. A 4-2 defeat to Schalke in the German Cup final preceded the face-off of the Galacticos in Glasgow, where a stunning Zinedine Zidane volley put Leverkusen and Balak's season to bed. It had happened again. The midfielder wasn't done for the summer though, as he was instrumental in Germany's run to the 2002 World Cup final, scoring the winner in the quarterfinals versus the USA and against co-host South Korea in the semis. Unfortunately for Balak, he picked up a suspension in this game, which meant he would miss a tantalising final with Brazil where Germany fell 2-0 thanks to a brace from R9. This feeling of intense disappointment must have been becoming very familiar for Balak. Fast forward to 2008, and Balak has recovered from his heartbreak with the Eternal Bridesmaids with a very successful stint at Bayern Munich, where he won three League and Cup doubles in four years. Now, he's plying his trade in the Premier League with Chelsea, who have just reached their first ever Champions League final after beating Liverpool in a classic semi. After a tense 120 minutes in Moscow, the game was taken to penalties. Can you tell where this is going? Despite scoring his spot kick, Balak watched his side lose to Manchester United on penalties. Again, Balak had to brush himself off after a heartbreaking defeat to lead Germany through a major tournament. This time, he was the captain and was instrumental in their run to the final, orchestrating games from midfield and helping himself to a couple of goals along the way. On the 29th of June, 2008, Balak found himself facing one of the best international sides ever assembled, because why wouldn't he? This Spain team included the likes of Puyol, Casillas, Ramos, Alonso, Xavi, Iniesta, David Villa, Santi Cazorla, and Fernando Torres, who scored the only goal in an unsurprisingly one-sided final. Michael Balak is remembered as a well-rounded, talented midfielder who stayed at the top of world football for more than a decade. But was he a bottle job, or just the most unlucky footballer of all time? Let us know in the comments.